In this video, I will be sharing with you some information on the causes of adrenal cancer. I created other videos on the meaning of adrenal cancer, how to treat adrenal cancer, or the symptoms of adrenal cancer. Please, check them out. The adrenal glands are a production center for regulatory hormones such as adrenaline and cortisone. For this reason, many of the symptoms of adrenal cancer are related to hormonal imbalances resulting from tumors secreting too much or too little of a particular hormone. A large percentage of tumors on the adrenal glands are benign. These tumors may grow very large and put pressure on nearby organs like the stomach, but they do not spread to other parts of the body. In such cases, patients may experience a feeling of fullness and unexplained weight loss. In the small percentage of cases when adrenal tumors are malignant, symptoms may not become apparent until the cancer has progressed to advanced stages. If symptoms are present, they will vary depending on the functional status of the tumor and the kind of hormone secreted. Many times, the warning signs of adrenal cancer are not obvious or the symptoms seem unrelated, and for this reason, it is difficult to diagnose adrenal cancer in its early stages. Blood and urine tests may help detect elevated hormone levels. However, physicians usually find an adrenal tumor during a scan for an unrelated condition. But what are the causes? Well, the exact causes of adrenal gland tumors are unknown. But many things can make you more likely to get them. These are called risk factors. They might be certain diseases or other situations you don't have any control over, for instance, how old you are. Keep in mind, just because you have a higher risk for adrenal gland tumors does not mean you will get a tumor. But talk to your doctor if you are experiencing some of the factors I will be mentioning in this video. What about your family history? The truth is that some diseases caused by genes, passed to you through your family, can raise your chances of getting a tumor. If you have a parent with one of these diseases, you are slightly more likely to get some types of neuroendocrine tumors. One disease is multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. It is a disease that causes tumors to form in the cells that make hormones, chemicals that affect actions in your body like hair growth, sex drive, and mood. The disease starts from a change to the multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 gene. You may hear your doctor call this a genetic mutation. If you have the condition, you may be more likely to get cancers of the parathyroid gland, pituitary gland, and pancreas. One out of every 10 people with multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 will get a carcinoid tumor. While, most multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 tumors are not cancer, they can release hormones that affect the way your body works. Another disease is multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2. This can raise your risk for tumors in the thyroid, adrenal, and parathyroid glands, and if you have men too, you're more likely to get neuroendocrine tumors such as pheochromocytoma, medullary thyroid cancer, and parathyroid tumors. I will quickly mention some other factors. The first one is the gender. Gender affects your risk for adrenal cancer. Men are more likely to get pheochromocytoma and Merkel cell cancers. Women are at slightly higher risk for most carcinoid tumors. Race is another factor. African Americans are more likely than whites to get carcinoid tumors of the stomach, intestines, and other parts of the gastrointestinal tract. Also, your immune system is your body's defense against germs. Anything that weakens it, such as HIV AIDS or an organ transplant, can raise your risk for adrenal cancer. Smoking is another one. You've already heard how bad it is for your health. It's not just lung cancer you have to worry about, though. Some studies suggest that smoking increases the risk for carcinoid tumors of the small intestine. How is adrenal cancer diagnosed? Diagnosing adrenal cancer usually begins with your medical history and a physical exam. Your doctor will also draw blood and collect a urine sample for testing. Your doctor may order further tests such as, an image-guided fine needle biopsy, an ultrasound, a CT scan, a positron emission tomography or PET scan, an MRI scan, 
an adrenal angiography. For more information on this type of cancer, and all other cancer types, please visit www.ecancertips.com. Thanks for watching.